Ukraine captured hundreds of Russian soldiers during its offensive in the Kursk region. At times, Russian army soldiers surrendered en masse. According to the Washington Post, Ukrainian forces captured more than 240 Russian soldiers after a surprise invasion of the Kursk region. Journalists found visual evidence of mass surrenders without resistance. The Washington Post reviewed more than 130 photographs and videos taken since the invasion began on August the 6th, most of them taken by Ukrainian soldiers and circulated on social media. The analysis also included photographs taken by a Post correspondent in the prison camps. It confirmed that at least 247 Russian soldiers from the Kursk region are in captivity. Some of the captured soldiers in the video identified themselves as conscripts who were not supposed to be in combat. Their capture in recent days has created a politically sensitive issue for Russia's ruler, Vladimir Putin. I haven't seen videos of Russian soldiers surrendering en masse in a long time. When I saw these videos, I felt that these soldiers had no experience fighting inside Ukraine, said Dara Masikot, a senior fellow in the Russia and Eurasia program at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Visual footage showed that Russians were captured in different locations in the Russian region. More footage of prisoners appeared online, but journalists did not include this data in their statistics since they cannot independently verify it. That is, the actual number of Russian prisoners during the offensive is much higher. The prisoners identify themselves as conscripts, men between the ages of 18 and 30. Conscripts do not receive salaries and are poorly trained. Putin promised that they would not be sent into combat, although Russian law allows this if they have completed four months of basic training. Having conscripts in combat undermines the social contract between Russian families and the government that Putin has led since 1999, Masikot said. The International Committee of the Red Cross and other human rights groups said that recording and distributing even statements from prisoners of war that appear voluntary violates rules, prohibiting their public display because they are inherently vulnerable and their well-being depends entirely on them. Neither the Ukrainian nor the Russian government has said how many Russian prisoners were taken during the Kursk operation. Russian forces in the Kursk area were likely controlled by different ministries or organizations that communicated poorly and were inexperienced in combat, all of which contributed to Ukraine's success, Masikot said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called the capture of so many Russian prisoners a replenishment of the exchange fund. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Ти не може прийти, бо ви, блядь, сука, що йому на випадку ти влазив, він, блядь, куляє. Я, блядь, як це все мені заскочив, то ви не тільки голову не розтягнете. Ти не можеш. 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 Ти не може